What's up guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back, now it's official my dear friends. Samsung has confirmed the already leaked plans for two smartphone manufacturers to soon implement 200 megapixel sensors behind the telephoto camera. And if you guys can remember, such plans were first revealed weeks ago for the upcoming Vivo X100 Pro Plus and subsequently the Honor Magic 6 Ultimate, which is also likely to use such a high resolution sensor behind the zoom camera. In a detailed blog post in the Samsung newsroom. Samsung has recently highlighted the benefits of this combination of a 200 megapixel sensor and nearly 3x telephoto optics. For instance, the problem of optical distortions in portrait photographs taken with a wide angle camera is addressed here, which is why many manufacturers prefer to employ specialized but weaker telephoto cameras for this, like Samsung with the S23 Ultra. If the most recent Galaxy's 24 Ultra rumors are to be believed, the S23 Ultra's pair of 10 megapixel 3X and 10X telephoto cameras may soon be a thing of the past. Numerous leakers have been emphasizing for weeks that Samsung will improve the portrait camera to a 50 megapixel sensor, while more recently, a leaker has hinted that Samsung may also discontinue the 10X zoom camera in 2024. The plans released by Samsung recently for the upcoming 200 megapixel sensor upgrade of some telephoto cameras could also be interpreted as a sneak peek at what Samsung's telephoto cameras might look like in the future, and this interpretation fits in perfectly with the rumors regarding the S24 Ultra's alleged lack of a 10x telephoto camera. In light of this, it is not implausible that Samsung will incorporate a 200 megapixel sensor behind a single 3x telephoto lens in its upcoming flagship camera, upgrading it to a much larger one over 1.3 inch ASOCELL HP2 or one over 1.4 inch ASOCELL cell HP3 sensor. Because of pixel binning and in sensor zoom, even at 2x and 4x magnification, the S23 Ultra's two tiny one over 3.52 inch sensors may be replaced with a much larger one, which would then produce superior photographs and videos even at night and in low light. This would comfortably approximate 3x, 6x and 12x zoom when used in conjunction with a 3x zoom lens with nearly the same optical quality and, as Samsung emphasizes, more realistic bokeh and HDA effects. Contrary to the earlier optical zoom capabilities of, for instance, the S23 Ultra, this pure crop technology would have one drawback. It cannot imitate the stronger compressing effect of an optical telephoto lens. Hence, images taken with a 12x telephoto lens using in-sensor zoom would differ from those taken with an equivalent 12x zoom lens. The effectiveness of such a telephoto solution at 30x or even 100x zoom is likewise debatable. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.